So now we have next pattern of questions, okay? And this will be the objective types. If you remember, in the beginning I taught you a few important things which you have to keep in mind while doing the time calculation, right? So based on those, I will be asking you a few questions. So shall we start? So your question is, how many seconds make one minute? Okay, and your options are 60, 30, 90, 120. So, if you remember, I taught you in the beginning of the class itself that 60 seconds make 1 minute. So, here the question asked is how many seconds make 1 minute? So, what will be your answer? Good. It is option A which is 60. Okay. Your next question is how many minutes make one hour? And your options are A60, B30, C100 and D360. Okay. So, what was the thing which I told, told you earlier? Yes, 60 seconds make 1 minute and 60 minutes make 1 hour. And my question is asking, how many minutes make 1 hour? So, what is the answer? Good, it is 60. So, 60 minutes make 1 hour. Okay, the next question is, how many minutes make one day? How many minutes make one day? So, what do you have to do children? So, we know that 60 seconds is one minute and 60 minutes is one hour. So, how many hours are there in a day? There are 24 hours in one day and one hour is equal to 60 minutes. So, what we have to do is we have to multiply that is 24 into 60 which is nothing but 24 into 60, 4, 6 are 24. 2, 2, 6 are 12, 13, 14. So, your answer will be 14, 40. So, it is 1440 minutes. This is your answer. Okay. Is it clear? How did you do it? 24 hours make 1 day and 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes. Right. So, my 24 hours will be 24 into 60. That is this one. So, 24 into 60 which is 1440 minutes. Is it clear? Shall we proceed? Okay. Here is your next sum. My next sum is 100 seconds is equals to how many minutes? Okay? And here you know that 60 seconds is equals to 1 minute. Right? So now the question asked is 100 seconds. So which means that you have to add. So, how many seconds are more? You have 40 seconds more, right? So, here it will be 1 minute and 40 
seconds because 100 minus 60 is how much it is 40 right so you have 1 minute and 40 seconds in 100 seconds is it clear are you clear with this pattern shall we move further so the next one is you need to identify which is true okay you need to identify which of the statement is true i say 4 minutes is equal to 220 seconds second one I say 5 minutes is equals to 300 seconds the next one i say 2 minutes is equal to 130 seconds and the last one i say 3 minutes is equals to 200 seconds okay so now you have to identify the correct statement we all know that 60 seconds is equal to 1 minute whenever you are solving such problem always write the formula beside you so that it is easy for you to do the calculation okay we know that 60 seconds is equal to 1 minute right so here they are asking us 4 minutes so which means that you have to multiply 4 into 60 which is how much can we just calculate 60 into 4 so 6 4s are 24 so it should be 240 yes wherein they have given as 220 so is it a true statement no this is a false statement okay coming to the next one the next one says that 5 minutes is equal to 300 seconds so we will be multiplying 5 by 60 so 60 into 5 6 fives are 30. So, 300. We get 300 seconds. And what is the answer? It is correct. So, this is a true statement. Okay. We will check the next one. The next one says 2 minutes. So, we need to multiply 2 into 60. Shall we check here? So, 60 into 2. 6 twos are 12. So, we should get an answer as 120 seconds. My answer here given as 130. So, is it correct? No. So, again it is a false statement. Yes. Coming to the last one. What is it saying? 3 minutes. So, which means that you need to multiply this with 60. So, we will check here. 60 into 3. So, 6 3 is 18. I should get an answer as 180 seconds. And what are they giving here? They have given here as 200 seconds. So, again it is a false statement. So, my right answer is 5 minutes is equal to 300 seconds. Clear? Shall we do one more? Okay. So, the next question is identify the false statement ok the first one we identified which was the true statement so now I am going to identify the false statement from the given lots ok and my options are 10 minutes equals to 600 seconds second one 7 minutes is equals to 420 seconds. My third one is 8 minutes is equals to 
for 100 seconds and the last one is 3 minutes I'm sorry 9 minutes is equals to 540 seconds okay so now writing the formula again 60 seconds is equals to 1 minute the first step what is the second step? Now, we have 10 minutes. So, 10 into 60. How much is it? We will multiply here. 60 into 10, which is nothing but 600. So, it should be 600 seconds. So, what is the answer? 600. So, that is true. Coming to the next one. It says 7 minutes. So, 7 into 60. So, we will multiply here and see 60 into 7. 6 sevens are 42. It should be 420 seconds. So, what is my answer? Same, right? So, it is true. What is the third one? Third one is given as 8 minutes, right? So, 8 into 60. So, try multiplying 60 with 8. 6 eights are 48. So, I should be getting an answer of 480 seconds, wherein my answer is 400. So, which means it is a false statement, right? Yes. The last one is given as 9. So, 9 into 60. Multiply it here and see. 6 nines are 54. So, I should get an answer of 540 seconds. And what is my answer saying here? It is true. Okay. So, which means C is the answer for this particular question. Are you clear children?